Right, hi everyone, welcome to an eBay unboxing. Two 78 RPM records are in here. And uh, if I can find my knife, yep, here it is. We'll get into it quickly. And uh, hopefully they're in one piece. Um, one was, a f was, was a because I really wanted it. Uh, I have for a while. And I asked somebody if it was available. They thought it was available in 78s. They said it was. Uh, I think it was Brian who gave me that information from Brian's 78s. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's quite well packed. I'm going to keep that box. I've got some postings to do myself eventually. Um, and he said it was. So I went on, on uh, I did another search on uh, eBay and come across it and I bought it. Now, the thing is, it was from one of those shops, so that you buy your postage is uh, not much different if you buy more and put it on top. So I didn't really want to buy a great load, um, but I found, I found uh, uh, another one, which I couldn't, which is, a, you'll see in a minute what it is, but it's, uh, it's I couldn't find... Uh, I couldn't find a play of it on um, YouTube or anywhere or much else about it on, on uh, the internet. Maybe if I looked a bit harder, I would. Or well, maybe you guys will. Now you see this, you'll probably have a look now. This is quite well packed. This is a box within a box, and I like this. This is done well. Um, really done well. So uh, I got, I'm quite confident that they're not broken. If you know if you're if you buy records from eBay on a regular basis, I don't buy them on a regular basis anymore, but I I mean I've been known to. Um Yeah, you've got to be careful when you open it. That you can get you can people get send them, but I, I was I was confident about this guy because he has got a shop and he sells 78s regular, so I was quite confident that they're gonna they were gonna be alright. It's just tricky opening them up, really, because you've got to be careful. You could actually break a 78 simply by just the process of opening the bloody box. Um, excuse my language. I'm just, I'm just trying to be very, very careful. Oh, I think I've got it now. Here we go. And they look good. Oh, a bit stuck to the side there. There we go. That one's all right anyway. And uh, and this one. Right. So I'll have to get them out of the way. Right. So this is the one I was after. It's uh, <laughs> you're going to be really surprised at this, I suppose. It's Max Bygraves, but it's the one of his songs that I really, really do like. And I'm not a keen fan at all of Max Bygraves, but Out of Town is such a, a a really good record. I really enjoy listening to it. And it was featured on um, uh, One Foot in the Grave, on one of the episodes of One Foot in the Grave. The other side is Fingers Crossed. I've got no idea what that is. But this is the one I wanted out of town. And I will be uploading it soon. I was hoping to upload it on my new 50s portable um, record player, but they're still having problems with that, which I might talk about in the future. Now, this is a Billy Cotton. The Umbrella Man. Now, I can't find a copy of this, but I'm sure you're all, somebody's going to be now thinking, I'll find a copy of it, you know, to play or see. But I couldn't. So I was, I was intrigued. On the other side, it is uh, where the Shannon flows down to the sea. Billy Cotton and his band. Well, there you go. That's that's the one. I, I'm not sure this is a rarish one or not. It didn't cost me much. I paid £2.50 for this particular one but as i say i can't find a uh, any a copy of it at the moment if you can then quite let just leave a, a link to it in the um in the messages in the mess in the comments below sorry right cheers thanks for watching this and i'll be back again soon with more plays and whatever bye for now